and a team leader for the outgoing uh, team of medical officer interns that will be leaving in uh, February. So today we are a sad community of healthcare workers. Here today is uh, all the groups represented from our registrars, from our surgeons, to our medical officers, medical officer interns, clinical officer interns, and our very amazing and lovely nurses, and our esteemed students from Egerton University. We are here to mourn the loss, the tragic death of one of us. And to put it correctly, the painful murder of one of us, Dr. Laban Langat. Dr. Laban Langat was a medical officer intern in this facility, Nakuru uh, uh, Hospital, uh, Nakuru County Referral and Teaching Hospital. He was serving currently in the surgery. Um, so many of us uh, got renewed about the, to, to know Laban when we were posted here for our internship. Laban was diligent, he was kind, and he was um, very hardworking. He has scored very highly from all the records that we have. Since he was in high school at St. Joseph's uh, uh, Kitale, where he scored an A, a very strong A of 83. And he was privileged to be called to Egerton University to pursue a very pre pre prestigious course, a bachelor's in medicine and bachelor's in surgery. And he worked so hard and graduated last year in 2022 with that distinction, a distinction. And he was also privileged to, to be posted in a hospital that he so much loved, in a hospital where he studied, where he accumulated his medical knowledge, his clinical knowledge, and the relevant skills. He was posted in this facility and has been serving for the past six months. He was only left with another six months before he could be fully licensed now to serve the entire country as a medical doctor. As of Friday, he was in theater. He was scrubbing in theater, assisting and learning from our surgeons. Our surgeons, uh, Dr. Toroitich and uh, Dr. Victor Moeo. And that evening, he left after everyone has dispersed for their weekend. And it is sad that we woke up in the morning with sad calls from colleagues that our, our friend's body had been discovered, ditched maliciously in a trench in front of a gate of a department that he so much loved, a department he served with diligence. Whenever Langatu had nothing to do, he was in Margaret Kenyatta. Whenever he didn't have anything to do, he was in maternity theater, assisting women to deliver safely under Caesarean section. So we are sad and we are very sad, but I know we cannot be sadder than the family. We are calling for justice for Dr. Laban Langat. We are calling for justice for his family. Yes. And we are calling for justice for the entire community, healthcare community of Nakuru County and specifically Nakuru County Teaching and Referral Hospital. We are looking for justice. We, have, we feel threatened. It could have been anyone. As at, this point, as, at this point, as at this point, we feel threatened. There has been no cause that shows why Laban was targeted. So we feel it could have been anyone. All of us walk through three, three, these streets doing serving. And it is not only medical officers. All of us, nurses walk through these streets at night. Yes. Students walk through these streets at night. We have medical students in fifth year and uh, sixth year in Egerton University. We encourage them to attend to the wards at night whenever they can to be able to clerk patients and to, be, to have what to present the following day. So all of us feel threatened. We don't feel safe. As far as we knew to the last point, Laban was as safe as any one of us. Yes. And he was yes. delivering his services as comfortably as any one of us. Yes. So there were all, no expressions of any threat on his life. So, why are we doing this? We want to make sure that 
we are doing this thing first of all selfishly for ourselves for ourselves yeah. yes. we Thank want you. to be safe mm. we want our we in our community now we have in in this presence we have our senior nurses we have our student nurses who are here to learn and to serve we want them to be safe ourselves we want to be safe while serving and we also want our students to be safe yes. we want you to come here serve go back home you go there wor worry about love worry about food worry about clothing but not your safety sour yes. so let's do this although we are sad let's do it in love yes. let's do it in dedication let's do it with all that we have in our hearts let's do it for each other let's do it for laban let's do it for his family but let's do it for our community by doing this everyone will be safe we will be safe even the administration will be safe our med soup will be safe our deputy med soup will be safe our registrars will be safe our surgeons will be safe we will be safe we want all these streets to be lighted we want proper lighting we want proper lighting proper lighting number two number two we want properly working and efficient and clear cctv yes. Yes. with proper long-term storage yes. that can be retrieved at any moment yes. this is a very risky department where mothers can lose babies it does not happen where mothers can lose babies people can lose property so we want safety so by doing that everyone will be safe but we are not narrow-minded we're not fighting for ourselves only it is for the safety of the entire community that is privileged and lucky to have this facility here and privileged to be served by, by this facility. So I'll close it there. If there's anything that we'll need to say, we will say it. Uh, and luckily we, we could not get our senior registrar, Dr. Tabitha, to have a word. I think she had left by the time we were calling her. But uh, we appreciate everyone who has been able to say something. And I encourage you to keep speaking. I know all of us may not get a privilege to stand here and say something. But wherever you are, say something, speak it, post it in the social media. All of this, this is public communication. Let it not end here. If you have Facebook, post it. And it is not an unknown doctor or a doctor in Nakuru. Dr. Laban Langat from this hospital, from Egerton University. We are very proud to be associated with Egerton. Mention it. Mention this hospital. Mention everyone. We want all of us to be safe. Post all these things in social media, post in the statuses. Something has happened here and it must be known. We are
Oh, 